basic concept works. And there's nothing sharp. And I'm just going to stick it down for you to make sure it's properly stuck. Otherwise, it'll go flying over there and splat on somebody standing in the doorway. Oh, you would never do that, would you, Jill? Might be hilarious fun. <laughs> so I'm just pressing it down and getting it nice and smooth for you. I don't know how you did it there, <coughs> but it's pretty much the same thing. You have different potters have different ways of doing it. So what you do is you just gently put your hands on the front of your hands. Have you have no idea what you are doing this time? Not really. I mean, you could make a bowl, a mug, a glass, a jug. Anything like that. That's what you think. That's that kind of slippery, isn't it? So start with your thumbs and you start with the same. So you put your thumbs in there and you gently press your thumbs down. So when should you go back to Jamaica? Friday? Oh, not long then. How long that slide? Nine hours. 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 Nine so now you've got this sort of little dumpy pot really, isn't it? And you've got all that thick clay. You take that off so you can use that now to make it bigger, taller. So you put your hands together like that. And then you put your hands like that. So that can go on the side. So you can feel that thick clay part. So what you're doing is gently press your fingers together. And as you do that, you move up to the woo, that's it, up to the top. Let to keep going up to the top, that's it, and let go. Lovely. So don't worry about the wobbly edge because it's quite forgiving. So then you go back down to the bottom. Well, that was me sticking my finger in it now. That's not so clever, was it? I might start again now and I'll put my finger in it. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You know what I think we will just because I can take my hands off this and get your fresh piece of your tree last practice. You feel me all the time. Great. Keep your rectum hot. My finger jabbed into it. So oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> I was showing her what to do next, and so my finger jabbed in and made a big dent in it. Just good jazz. He said, don't do this. Yeah, don't exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'll just get it stuck down again. The nice thing about clay, though, is that you, it all gets reused. It's not like, you know, if you buy it, it's really nice case, and you're quite expensive, and canvas, and some really nice brushes, and then you um, paint yourself a horrible picture. And it's too bad, really, isn't it? You can't scrape the paint off and uh, make another painting with it, you just have to throw it away or hide it under your bed or something. So, um, the nice thing about clay is you can make a mess of it, stand it up and then just use the clay the next day. Right, got that stuck down. Let's start again. So we start with our hands like this, and we can thumbs in the middle. Before I get on better. So just pushing down gently, you don't need to You thought what you want to make it. Um, you have to decide at one point whether it's going to make a cup or a bowl. Do you think? Yeah, a cup. A cup can't find your hand in there. Lovely. Okay, that's good. That's perfect. You haven't got a tooth in there. So now we're going to do the same thing again with that. So you check my fingers in it. We are doing that. Okay. So you're squeezing and moving your hands up. That's it. Yeah, watch this finger here, because you see all that, get that finger in there, it's working. Because what you're thinking about these ones, but that one's going into, into the edge. That's it. So just gently moving your thumb. So if you want it to be a thumb, it's going to be quite tall. And don't worry about the shape of it yet. That's it. Tell me if it feels all dry and sort of rough. That's it. Keep going right up to the very top. Don't stop anywhere. That's it. That's it. That's it. And keep moving up. Right up to the top. You're doing really well. I'm getting the feel of it now, aren't you? So one thing I was explaining to a boy about ten, and he said to me, uh, when I said to him, "Those squeezes and stuff," he said, "Oh, you need to think with your fingers." Do you understand that? I thought it's a great mm -hmm. expression, "Think with your fingers." So what you're doing, as you're doing this, you're feeling. And if it's a bit thick, you push a bit more. If it feels a bit thin, just push that hard. And don't run your fingers down. Take them off when you get to the top. Because what you're doing is you're doing this. Is you're saying, "Go up, go up, go up." And if you run your fingers down, you're saying, go down, go down. And if you keep saying, go up, go down, go up, go down, it doesn't know what you want. And then it will just go sideways. And just have a little feel. Yeah.
again, so what can you play this? And you'll do the, the very last thing we do is the shape, which makes sense really, because if you make a nice shape early on and then you have to make it an inch taller, you mess up your shape, obviously. That's it. So you're doing great. Now this finger's in trouble. Because that finger there is going to jab in the side and it's going to land up with a chunk out of my hand. Well, so when you feel the same thing, just squeeze it and move your hands up. That's really great. Oh, Is it? I thought you were going to say that. I don't know why, but I just thought it's good. Well, hot chocolate too. Last night we went out to the beach. Do you know um, salt and salt? Mm. It's about Milton Sands. Do you know that? Yeah. And they've got a lovely cafe here, right on the beach. Yeah. And uh, we had chips and hot chocolate sitting on the beach while it was getting dark. Our son and the dog. So we must eat hot chocolate in the summer. That's lovely. See how you get a bit of a shape in it. Let me just have a little bit. That's good. That's probably probably about as thin as it's going to get. So a bit of reasonable size. You might be quite different. So now I'm just going to get that puddle out of the middle. And now have a look at the shape. Decide what you want to do. So mugs come. I mean, that's a nice shape. Just going like that. Some kind of go out like this. And in. What kind of shape? Some are sort of going nice. from wide to narrow. Wider at the top, so yeah. going like that, sort yeah. of triangle. Okay, so if you want to do that, do what you've mm -hmm. been doing. As you come up, push a bit out. Mm -hmm. So as you, yeah, push this mm -hmm. bit bend, to, bend that thing. Yeah. <laughs> just wash it. Yeah, that's it. Very gently. Yeah, and just bend, just gently, not too much. Keep pressing it out. You need to move your hands over. So that's it. There we go. Look at that. That's a great cut. Have a look at that. Yeah. What do you think of that? I like it. You're happy with that? I feel like if I do anything anymore, I'm going to mess it up. That's a very sensible thing. The golden rule of working on the wheel is quick while you're working. Which means that like, when you've got something that you really like, it's a good time to stop. Is this a soft stuff that's got kind of a handle on it? Because if you want hot chocolate, that's what handles are for. So yeah. you can have, because otherwise the cup gets so hot, yeah. you won't be able to hold it. Well done. So now we need to slice it up. It looks good. Bit of flour there. This is our cake butter. As we need to one of these before. I think it's actually a piece of crab on it. It's really well. Oh, homemade. You can buy the Professor Fiverr in the potter shop, but. So just pull in there, that's it, and bring your hands here. I'm just holding it flat. And I'll just make sure you've got some shit into your mouth. Lovely. <laughs> now this is a really scary bit. Put the pot like this onto your hands. Put your hand flat, that's it, and just sort of cross across. That's it, well done. Very confident, that's great. So I'll put the lid out there and say, no, you don't. Mm -hmm. And all these finger marks and things. It's very tempting to want to get a sponge and wipe them, but you'll actually just make a load of sponge marks on it instead. So when it's dry, I'll wipe those off. Or leave marks, so there should be. Well, the only trouble with some of them, yeah, some of them, I mean, she's got her finger marks there. They can actually be really rough. Yes. You know, they don't look very nice. And actually, it's hard to imagine it with clay now, but especially around the base, it can actually be razor sharp. Oh, yeah. It's amazing, you know? Yeah. Um, <coughs> Yeah, once it's fired, yeah, it goes so hard, you know, it's, it right. can cut your hand sometimes, yeah, you'd be surprised. Really right, yeah. next thing now, probably, is wash your hands, yeah? So, come over here. Oh, I like that, yeah, come over here. It could have been your uncle's diamond, you know. Oh, yeah, he looks good in there, Clay White. Get the details and then you make a handle, and then you can tell me what you've done.